Hi, Marty Lurie here at KMBR 680. I said to Stephen Oakett, I'm going to welcome you back, but you haven't been back. You're here. First time. Thank you, Marty. Thanks for having me here. So, All right. How did you get the call that you were coming up? Um, I was just hanging out of my apartment in Sacramento, and Bobby uh, gave me a call that morning and uh, let me know I was coming up and then told me, obviously, call my parents and stuff. You know, it's funny. Uh, Law came up, and he was in the apartment with Broadway, and Broadway came up, and now the only one left is Blackburn. Mm. Now, did you have your own place? Uh, I was with Jake Dunning and his fiance. So, um, yeah, he's still there. He's actually got my dog there right now. Okay. All, right. So. All right. So what's it like uh, the first few days in the big leagues? What do you think? A um, little overwhelming, but uh, very exciting. Um, getting to come in this clubhouse with these guys, you know, they will welcome you with open arms. And uh, it's a great feeling. They don't make you feel like you're unwelcome. You come straight in and you're part of the, the family. Stephen Okard with us. Steve, and, of course, uh, we've seen a lot of you in spring training uh, over the last few years. You're up here. You had good success your first couple of times out. What's it like being on the big league mound with your stuff? Do you do anything different? Um, I try not to do anything different. Uh, talking to, you know, Romo and some of these other guys, um, just letting me know it's still the same game we've always played. Um, obviously, we're on a bigger stage. But, uh, I mean, you come out here and you try to do too much, then you're probably going to get hurt. So they just let you know it's the same game. Just do what you do. Now, you made a big breakthrough at Oklahoma. You had had a couple of years at Grayson, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And you were drafted a couple of times. You didn't sign at all. And then you went to Oklahoma. You made the big breakthrough, and then the Giants grabbed you. Why didn't you sign earlier? Um, honestly, I didn't feel like I was ready. Um, high school, I didn't really throw very much. And then uh, my first year in junior college, I struggled. Second year, I threw pretty well, but I uh, just felt like I you know, needed to go one more step before taking the jump to pro ball. And... Um, you know, got to go there and had some success. <laughs> Still struggled some early, but uh, and then obviously where the Giants grabbed me, couldn't pass up that opportunity. Yeah, you know, it's funny when I looked, I said nine and eight at Oklahoma. Come on, what happened? Uh, what happened was I had a basically when I went in, my coach would just make me finish the game. <laughs> so. Uh, you know, we go extra innings. I was still in, or if we were in the lead, then hopefully I could go save the game. But uh, definitely a lot of decisions for a pin guy. Yes, you did. I thought it was two years, but it was actually one year of n one year of nine and eight. All right, to let the fans know what you throw, because we've seen you down in Arizona, and they've seen you in Sacramento, but we haven't seen you here other than right now. Describe yourself as a pitcher. Um, shoot, uh, funky. <laughs> um, so I would say probably the closest I am is Bum, but obviously he's even more funky than I am with that, that big twist he has. Um, just, you know, low three quarters, slinging it. So Fastball, curveball, changeup, slider, what do you like? Fastball, slider, um, changeup, and just start throwing a cutter. All right, so now you get prepared. Now, these are hitters I'm sure you've read about and seen on TV, and maybe you've seen them in the minor leagues. What's it like getting prepared for one of these games? Uh, it's definitely different. Um, like, like we were just talking about, we have the video on them. Um, talk to other guys. I've talked to Javi, talked to Osich. Um, they'll let me know, you know, what, what guys swing and what counts and what they're looking for, what their approach is. And so, try to get a get in touch with Javi and and uh, Osich being lefties and uh, get their approach for it. All right. Now I look in your locker. You got three gloves. You got another hat. Now three gloves. Are they all pitchers' gloves, or do you do other things? Uh, all pitchers' gloves. I uh, haven't ventured out and gotten the uh, shagging gloves or. Um, catcher's mitt or anything, but just pitcher's gloves for now. All right. So the best part of being in the big leagues, I know you've only been here a few days now, but you can see you walk around, uh, you got good video equipment, and you got good food. What's the, what's, the, what's the best part? I mean, honestly, being in the game, having all those fans. You know, the stadium's unbelievable. The atmosphere is completely different. It's way more exciting. Um, just you get much more of a rush, for sure. When I, I mean, my first time out there, it was... It was I was sped up, you know, a lot of adrenaline pumping. Um, fans don't know who I am, and they're screaming for me, so that's a great feeling. Well, they're going to watch this. They're going to know who you are, believe me, after this thing. All right, uh, growing up, uh, who'd you root for? Uh, Rangers, just being from Texas. Um, I was actually talking to Kane yesterday uh, about watching him the year he didn't give up a run in the playoffs and killed the Rangers, and obviously I wasn't too happy with that. And then getting drafted, you know, obviously been a Giants fan since. It's great to have you on the show. Good to have you here and another lefty. You can't have enough lefties. I always say that. No, not at all. All right. Stephen, thanks for being on. Thanks for having me.